Right. Can you hear me, ma'am? Yes, yes. You are properly audible in this bill. What about me? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. I can uh, hear you, and you are audible. Okay. Okay. Great. All right. So, first of all, welcome to today's session. How have you been? How are you? Yeah, I'm going uh, very well. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. What about you, ma'am? You're welcome. I'm doing great as well. Thank you so much for asking. Just like always. So, as we are meeting for the first time, let us start with introduction. Is that okay with you? Yeah, so to you, it's all right. Uh, for introduction, first of all. Okay, you can go first. Okay, so I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Ali. I belong to Uttar Pradesh. When it comes to my profession, I'm working as an accountant. If I talk about my education, I am a graduate person. I did PG with my computer. Apart from this, uh, when I get free time, so I talk to different people, some strangers, with a view to enhance my communication skills. As far as concern about my uh, channel, so yeah, before few months back, I started my YouTube channel, and this is also with a view to enhance my communication skills. Yeah, this is all about me. Okay, okay, it's, it's great. Good to know. So, if I talk about myself, I am Rishika, and I am working as a tutor in this platform. It has been one year since I am working here, and currently I am residing in Northeast Assam. Okay, and I would be happy if I can help anyone with this language, as this is my favorite. So, I would be happy to help you. So, if we talk about today's session, today's topic is celebrities. So, do you want to discuss about the topic or have general conversation? All right. So, let us have general conversation then. Okay, so yeah. you say that you have a YouTube channel, right? And what have you planned for your future? Like, what have you planned to do? Like, are you studying or are you doing job currently? Yeah, currently I'm doing job. Before this, I was working as a teacher. Uh, I was a computer teacher in that situation. But now, I recently I moved from there, and now currently I'm working as a as an accountant. So yeah, I, I am uh, right now working here. Okay, okay, all right. So, what are your hobbies? What do you like to do in your free time? Yeah, if I talk about my hobbies, so I am not able to follow all my old hobbies because now I am professional, so I have to do a lot of work. So, nowadays in my free time, just I in the morning time, I follow my hobbies to get up early in the morning and go out and uh, go for a, a little. Uh, wind down, uh, wind down, and uh, in the evening time when I get free time, so I like to talk some strangers, some YouTubers, and with my friends as well. So these are the things I am doing in time. Okay, okay, that's great. Good to know. So currently, where are you residing? Where are you from? Yeah, actually, I am from Uttar Pradesh. Currently, I am Uttar Pradesh, and uh, yeah, I am from Amethi district. Okay, okay, I remember you say so. Uttar Pradesh is a very beautiful place. Can you tell me something about Uttar Pradesh? Yeah, Uttar Pradesh is very populated already. I think you know that. And if I talk about the Uttar Pradesh, so Uttar Pradesh have a wonderful state. It has many uh, uh, many things that people come here and enjoy in in Uttar Pradesh. If I talk about the Agra, so Taj Mahal is very famous for for the visitors, for the foreigners, for the Indians. Most of the people go to see the beauty of the Taj, and they enjoy over there with white sang sang marmar marble. And some other famous also uh, some other places also are very famous like Varanasi also very famous in Kasi like name of Kasi, and Ayodhya uh, also very famous. And uh, very near to me, if I talk about my nearest city, so Lucknow is the uh, uh, capital of UP. So it is very wonderful. So I would say here, yeah, yeah, Uttar Pradesh is very populated and uh, a wonderful uh, state. Uh, different kinds of things available. People do job and and one more thing, like a lot of uh, farmers also belong to Uttar Pradesh. So a lot of farmers do farming and agriculture. Some uh, outdoor uh, that means the entrepreneurs uh, also uh, doing some work here. So it's totally uh, a good state. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Actually, I've heard a lot about Uttar Pradesh, about people belonging from there, about their culture, festivals. So, can you tell me something about your favorite festival? 
Yeah, if I talk about the uh, several festivals, so really India and Uttar Pradesh full of the festivals. We can't believe only one festival. There are many festivals are very famous in in Uttar Pradesh. Like if I talk about Holi and uh, Deepavali and Eid for the Muslim and uh, yeah and Durga Puja also very famous. So these are the things are very famous. But if talk about to very famous, yeah so. For the Muslim person, most of the Muslim enjoy with Eid festival and uh, Deepavali also. So Deepavali and Eid are very wonderful festival here. Every people go to meet each other. Every people go to uh, relatives. And for the children, really, all are the festival very great for the children. But this festival for the children very wonderful. But because all the children looking some new clothes, some money from their elders. they go out for the enjoyment they want to buy something so for the children all are the festival wonder but i think this these are the famous so much famous for everyone okay yeah you are totally correct almost everyone loves this festivals right if you talk about eid diwali holi durga puja all of this are so popular festivals and this is what unites the people of india together right all the people they celebrate this festivals together the joy right so all of this are important next question so uh, as you say that you run a youtube channel right and it's not an easy task to do so isn't it you have to uh, motivate your followers your uh, you know uh, youtube followers you also have to upload contents on daily basis so how do you stay motivated how do you keep going yeah if i talk about how uh, do i stay motivated so really i am so consistent when uh, when i started my journey this journey at this situation i was not able to speak i was not able to speak a single sentence i was very weak so just i did hard work towards this language i watch a lot of videos i did hard work for the telephonic conversation like audio calls so i did hard work and what i did i for the stay motivation what i did i break my task i divide my task to multiple way and just i started working one and one and one and one i go forward so i started working on my tenses my models whatever i felt i was weak so i just started working over there so i got lot of confidence some uh, when i started talking to multiple and different people so they started telling me yeah now you are able to convey your message so i was getting a lot of uh, praise from others so these are the things uh, make me happy so with the happiness i do be consistent with my uh, audio call sometimes when i started video so i try to go for more and more video calls so yeah every day when i go for uh, these kind of things so it make me happy and i be consistent whenever i talk to anyone and it's very wonderful to listen something from others now you are able to stay so really it praise me and it stay me be confident okay okay that's great that now you are feeling confident right because for every speaker some things are very necessary and the first one is confidence right if you are confident yeah. then you can convey your message to the crowd to the people in front of you so how much time did it take for you to become this confident how much time did you take yeah if take like if i talk about the earlier so i was doing i was watching a lot of videos near about 3 to 4 months i have paid for watching and listening i didn't start at this session talking to anyone on audio call so i just i was watching a lot and consuming a lot of content and everything then i came to know few application on the play store that uh, that was the application on audio call we can connect different learners so i started uh, talking to many people when i started so slowly slowly i got confidence yeah i can speak okay okay that's it so now, uh, how are you feeling now like you have seen so many changes in you right for example before just like you said you were hesitant to speak with people but as time passed by you grew more confident and now you can speak so well with people right so how are you feeling now yeah i'm feeling so much good i'm so happy that i am able to talk to many people because earlier i was not able so really i am getting response from my side whatever i did really i am getting the uh, result of that uh, hard work so really i am so happy 
and in terms of the uh, grammar really i don't more feel uh, i am not good at grammar because yeah making mistakes is is a quite famous it's quite common thing to make mistake i also uh, make mistakes but yeah so i don't more think about it just i want to expand my knowledge i want to grab new opportunities i want to add new values in my conversation that would be better for my communication skills so yeah these are the things i am uh, thinking to add and really i am enjoying a lot okay that's great that's great good to know so here actually you say that you enjoy talking with people right and i think here we are on the same page because we can learn so many things from people we can also make them understand so many things so tell me like as you have i think had conversation with many people so what are some of the things you learned from them after having conversation yeah most of time whenever i talk to many people actually when we go for audio call if i talk about the audio call so in audio call we can connect multiple type of learners that could be it could be a beginner intermediate some advanced learners also and more advanced they are not going to come on the audio call because already they are full one so they are not going to more go through the practice they have a lot of time to go for another uh, thing so what i observe yeah few of the learners they wanted to speak so sometimes when i find uh, found any many times i found many learners like beginners so i praised them i said whatever i did and i make motivated him just you try to speak don't be hesitate and try to be consistent a uh, consistent on this journey because consistency is very important as much as you are going to enjoy in this conversation sure you are going to enjoy your life your journey so yeah i motivated a lot and yeah some people when i connect uh, few people who is really wonder in this language so i talk with them sometimes i learn some new vocabulary some structures how to articulate the sentences so these are the things i am getting and whenever i get something new really i write down in my diary i don't miss to write anything so really when i uh, watch any video or i listen anything that is could be important so i write in my diary a lot of things i have written but i'm not able to implement all the things i want to uh, implement with the things in the future so really i'll try to implement whatever i want to do okay okay that's good that's good good to know good to know so actually it's very important to write down things you know i also personally feel that very much because sometimes we may forget right we may have so many thoughts in our mind so it's very important to always keep a diary and a pen with us and note down those things where you are making mistake and what can be the correct form of the words that you can use okay so that is something very very important i also tell my learners uh, to do this sometimes and you know uh, it's something which we can basically practice if you write down that in the future you will remember for a longer time right and sometimes if you are telling like okay i need to revise i need to again go through this you can easily go through that if you will you can easily remember this so that is a very important practice actually so why do you think english is very very important to you know why we should all learn english okay you just need to give two reasons why you think english is very important language okay first i am going to tell about the importance of english only two reasons so some of uh, first one i am going to tell you about uh, uh, like like it, this is a official language when it comes to talk about the official language that mean not for going to use in an official language we can interact to multiple clients we can talk to multiple clients and we can do multiple work in official like if you are going to feed any data if you are going to make any emails so it could be in english language so english that mean we are going to interact we are going to go different task at office that is very important the second one that is very important because we are if i talk about the india have a different state that different languages and if we are going to belong from one state to another state must we have to talk uh, different people in order to go uh, for next step maybe you are going to ask for next uh, vehicles may are going to ask any hotel and restaurant at this situation if you don't know the language of english maybe you are not going to tell your thought you are not going to share your thought so going outside like if you are a traveler a traveler so if you are going to outside there you have to use this language very much and it will help you to do a lot of things it will help you to interact people it will help you to know the cuisine and uh, different kinds of activities over there 
so we should say here uh, i i would say here yeah it's very important in official language that we can do multiple tasks we can interact different people we can talk to our senior and juniors as well and in terms of the going to outside yeah it's very wonderful uh, role play when we go to out absolutely correct totally i totally agree with you that's right so there is a small correction that i want to make is that okay with you yeah yeah absolutely all right okay yeah so uh, here i think one sentence where you said i interact people right here you you need to use i interact with people okay which is very important okay interact with people yeah. okay okay i'll try to i yeah okay so it was great to talk with you ali and uh, uh as we met for the first time today however the way this is the part where i give the feedback okay the way you interacted the way you put forwarded your opinion your perspective it was quite impressive and you seem very very confident as i see it one thing there are many things which are very important when speaking in english but the first thing is confident according to me yeah. confidence is very important right and uh, i saw that in you the glimpse of confidence in you so keep it up okay just be this confident and apart from that just like you said you feel like you need to improve on grammatical things everyone makes mistake it's a very basic thing you learn from mistakes only right so it's there's nothing to be stressed about and thank you so much ali for joining today's session any question or doubt you want to ask before i wind up yeah i don't have any question and doubt yeah i would be ha i really uh, i uh, had a conversation with you and really it's very enjoyable conversation and uh, i'm so happy that i'm able to answer you you're welcome and thank you so much once again for joining today's session bye good night okay bye bye